chapter number 19 the title face to face in the forest i would advise you to visit the recaps of chapter number 18 because in chapter number 18 the last scene was there was a intense fighting between robert and michael michael who came to rescue lady de mobain so in that fighting there was a lamp which uh, was put off and uh, the whole room was dark and black so the fighting continued so at the end of the chapter uh, 18 i indicated that uh, that uh, michael has been killed and this uh, redoubt general who is in the moat he jumped up to the old castle site and he killed the guarded first and there were couple of men left in the old castle and uh, one man rupert was there in the new castle where uh, michael was dead now now uh, the bridge was in its place and uh, the group of duke michael servant were around him around uh, rupert and rupert of honzo he is wearing trouser and shirt and the white linen linen mean white clothes but the cloth are stained with blood there was a blood stains of the blood on his cloth the doctor then said that he saw or he noticed his friend johan johan was also wounded from his cheek so he had a handkerchief in his uh, hand and he was trying to suck the blood Uh, through this uh, handkerchief so now the words of the rupert rupert said that he had killed one man still till that night another by luck rather than skill perhaps it was that and he said that the villain as the man was i did not relish being one of the crowd against him he said that uh, that man he succeeded and overpowering and killing and then he knowing that michael was dead and despite of that he says michael you dog michael if you can stand come on michael you bastard come on so these are the words actually this very in a sarcastic tone in an ironic way and uh, he uh, uh, you know he is a uh, trying to show uh, his uh, success his victory so lady moban was there and when she heard and when she noticed that uh, michael was not responding so it means he is dead then she says he is dead my god he is dead robert again says dead i struck better than i knew i mean he's i mean he said that uh, uh, uh this uh, hit was better than he could ever imagine and then he said that down with your weapons there i am your master now down with them i say so now he is ordering all the servants of michael to put down the arms and uh, be the obedient be submissive to him because michael is no more their master now because he is dead and now he he tries to assert or he tries to claim that he is the master now so then antony or you can say moben was in a loose robe and uh, she was her face was very pale uh, she was looking uh, a uh, dis- uh, distressful she was worried uh, what had happened robert said faith madam had your eyes been no more deadly than your shooting i had not been in this scrap nor black michael in hell tonight he said that you i mean first he tried to praise sarcastically of her eyes he said that your eyes are so beautiful that had these not been so beautiful than the shooting then he said that 
Michael wouldn't have been killed then. Tonight he wouldn't have received hell. So the, the, these are the very uh, taunting words, sarcastic words. And then at the same moment he said, I heard it. Hearing this, uh, a very strong reaction, she tried to aim at him and shoot him. But when she fired, he jumped into the moat and dived into it and tried to swim across to the other side so that he could escape. Seeing this, Rodolfo Rosendal also jumped into the moat, trying to chase him and to take revenge and to have a fight with him. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, there was a rope which uh, uh, Rosendal wanted to take help in case he got tired or fatigued. So with the help of a rope, he would be able to come out quickly from the moat. So ultimately, Robert found that rope while he was swimming, he noticed that rope and he held it and quickly he came out from the water and uh, then the, he started running away from there. Rajendra said that he heard a rush of feet and he heard the voice of Colonel Sapt. God, it is due, dead. It means Colonel Sapt reached there but he found that Duke Michael was dead. And what about the king? He was worried about that. While he was chasing the roper and he didn't want that roper could find the rope which he fastened or he tied from the, uh, from the other side of the moat to the Jacob ladder side so that he could swim very swiftly with the help of the rope. I mean with both of his hands he could propel himself. But unfortunately Rodor Rosendel when he jumped into the water, when he dived, so he, he noticed that there was a rope. So he held the rope and by this way he was able to quickly come out from the moat. So that is the reason Rodor Rosendel who was uh, badly wounded uh, in the fight uh, with uh, Datcher, now he was very much fatigued very, I mean his, uh, uh, you know, bleeding, he was bleeding and so ultimately he couldn't uh, catch him. First it was the distance of uh, uh, five yards, now by the ground they reach, uh, it was the distance of uh, 30 yards. According to the Redoubt General, Robert of Hunzo was running like a deer in the jungle in the forest. So by this way he was trying to escape. And it was three o'clock in the morning and nearly a hundred yards away. There was a scream, there was a, a shriek of a woman and it was a shriek of a girl. She was on the horse, she was riding to the marketplace and uh, uh, Robert Afonso stopped this girl and uh, put her down from her heart smilingly and even he tried to kiss but she was much frightened and uh, Robert snatched, I mean took her heart uh, from her and then he came back and he approached Rodolfo Rosendal. And as soon as he came near Rodolfo Zendel at, his, at some distance, he asked him what Rodolfo Zendel was doing in the castle. Rodolfo Zendel answered that he had killed three of his friends. Robert was really very much surprised and he said, what? You got to the cells? It means that you entered into the old castle, the king's cell? So he said, yes. And the king? What about the king? Ro uh, you know, Robert asked. And uh, then he said that he was hurt by Datcher because uh, Datcher tried to kill the king. So he was badly hurt. And then he said that he killed 
you know, Redoubt Zandal killed Datchard. Redoubt Zandal said that I spared his life. It means uh, Redoubt Zandal wanted to to shoot him with his revolver, but he did not do so because he wanted to fight like a man, the man in the field. So because he knew, uh, uh, he still remembered the word play actor. So Redoubt Zandal wanted to pr prove that he was not a play actor, he was a really man who is quite confident uh, in fighting a man. Then Redoubt Zandal challenged him and asked him to get up from his horse and fight like a man. So there was a little bit fight which uh, continued but uh, this fight According to Redoubt Zendel, he said that it was uh, not a good thing. I mean, it was a foolish thing for him because he was much uh, tired and uh, he was uh, badly wounded. And despite of that, he was trying to do it. But after some time, there was a... Sh I mean, he heard a shout of Captain Fritz who had come near and he had a pistol or maybe a revolver in his hand. And uh, when he, Rupert noticed, uh, when he came to know, and so he realized that his game would be end. So Rupert of Hunzo, uh, before running away or riding away from there, he bowed before Redoubt Zendel and even he bowed before the farm girl. And then he quickly kicked his horse uh, and then rode away from there. And uh, now, according to Redoubt Zendel, some uh, characters or characteristics are, you know, adjectives of uh, qualities of uh, Rupert R. He was, I mean, he vanished from there. He was reckless. He was very graceful and graceless sometimes he was graceful sometimes he was graceless graceful mean when he bowed before the girl he uh, politely handled the girl he gave uh, her some money and all th these are the graceful acts and he was reckless all the time i mean he was very daring very courageous and when he said that he was handsome so really he was very handsome man and Debonair. Debonair actually is that he was very elegant, a very high towering personality. And then he was also wild. Wild here it means that very cruel type. In his fight he was very cruel, very, uh, you know, merciless. And unconquered. Unconquered here indicates that neither he could win Lady de Maubin because Lady de Maubin still she was... Uh, feeling sorry for the dead Michael. She was still trying to take the revenge of dead Michael because she still loved her. So, this is, uh, these are some of the qualities of Robert. Then the chapter ends uh, with the conversation between Rudolf Redendel and Captain Fritz. Uh, Captain Fritz, uh, I mean, uh, Rudolf Redendel tries to confirm whether the, uh, the wounded king was still alive or not. And Captain Fred said, yes, he was alive. And there was also, farm girl is also there, and they, uh, both of them are showing a very good uh, uh, mercy, or you can say, uh, they are trying to console her. So the chapter ends here. Let's see what happens in chapter number 20. So remember the last scene that Rupert of Honzo has escaped, but gracefully. And uh, now Captain uh, Fritz and uh, Redor Rosendel, they are together now. And it has been confirmed that the wounded king is still alive. So this is the matter of great satisfaction and joy for both of them, especially for Redor Rosendel, who said hurra. Hurra is an expression showing uh, you know, internal happiness, internal pleasure. So this is the end of the chapter number 19.
and uh, let's see what comes in chapter number 20 thank you allah hafiz